Squid Game's reality show seems more brutal and emotional than the fictional series, and what's more, it's been more scripted and rigged than you could ever imagine. One of the crazy moments was the scene from the red light game where player 385 couldn't squat for long and regretted the decision immediately, saying, why did I squat before giving up on the price? That scene got many fans worked up as they blamed the player for being unable to hold a few seconds squat for that sum of money. But the absolute truth behind that scene is more brutal than viewers saw in the show as the game lasted more than eight hours. As soon as the clock was stopped, they all had to maintain their positions for 20 plus 45 minutes while the elimination of contestants was ongoing. A contestant on the show explained how hard it was for the girl who squatted, saying, so they showed that girl in the squat and it's like, okay, she can't hold the squat for like 10 seconds or whatever? No, it was literally like 30, 45 minutes that she had to hold that squat for. Also, the viewers could see many contestants lying down whenever the clock stopped because it's more convenient than being caught in any other position. However, what's even worse about the red light scenes was that they were filming under terrible weather conditions. As the contestants mentioned, it was freezing that day. They had no other form of warm clothing except their numbered tracksuits, so staying eight to nine hours in the cold was insane. It's now confirmed that it wasn't an easy filming process for the competitors during the production of the series, and with that, two contestants have come out to sue Netflix for the way they suffered on set and the effect of the competition had on them. The contestants, represented by a UK law firm, have begun legal action to sue the production company, Studio Lambert, and Netflix for subjecting them to horrific conditions. These contestants mentioned that the issue centers around the red light game, where they fell ill after standing still or bending for hours under the cold temperature. This has caused one of the contestants to suffer from hypothermia also, they revealed that the green suits couldn't save them from the extreme weather conditions. One of the accident specialists representing the contestants said, from what we've been told, they push the boundaries of safety in the name of entertainment. Production companies need to ensure that health and safety standards on their shows don't leave people at risk of harm. However, Netflix has responded to the intended lawsuit by saying they provided hand warmers for the contestants and placed heaters for contestants to warm up. They added that they took excellent care of the cast and even provided medical treatment for about three contestants while filming. Netflix said, we care deeply about the health and safety of our cast and crew and invested in all the appropriate safety procedures. While it was very cold on set and participants were prepared for that, any claims of serious injury are untrue. But then sources close to the set mentioned that all the hand warmers were taken away from the competitors as soon as the eight hour game commenced. So there was no way for them to warm up for hours on end. The cold on set is something Thing every one of the players experienced as sources revealed that people fell and were convulsing while filming as medics were being called upon. But the crazy thing is that the producers delayed the medics from going to help so that they don't ruin the filming and drone shots. When medics were finally allowed to help, they sent men in pink tracksuits with black coffins to cover up the doctors attending to the players so they wouldn't spoil the camera shots. It's very obvious to the fans that everyone in the competition needed the prize money and they would do anything to win it. But there are are reports that the production team had their favorite contestants from day one and rigged it to favor some over others. A former contestant on the show explained what they went through, saying, it was just the cruelest, meanest thing I've ever been through. We were a human horse race and they treated us like horses out in the cold racing and the race was fixed. Also, some contestants added that they were only put on the show for drama and the actual cast were TikTok and Instagram influencers who were pre-selected for the series. And this set of people would move Move to the next stage even if they didn't pass some of the previous phases. The former players confessed to Rolling Stone that these influencers were given real microphones and the others got dummy ones. The player even claimed that they saw an eliminated contestant being put back into the game to continue as they kept rigging the whole process. The player explained better, it really wasn't a game show, it was a TV show and we were basically extras in a TV show. One tremendous example of this that fans have noticed is the mother and son duo on the show. The older woman was seen moving during the first game and didn't make it before time ran out, but she was kept in the show for drama. A contestant who noticed this on set said, this kid is sitting at the finish line, he's crying and cameras are on him and he's waiting for his mom. They added more time to the clock for her to get across because she was one of the people that they wanted to be in the show. So there was a lot of cheating on the set and it's not like the original series, which was based on fairness and equality, but it got even crazier as some former players also revealed that a large group made it across the finish line with time still on their side. However, as soon as
as they crossed, their paintball exploded and they were told they'd been eliminated even though they passed. They also added that Netflix already booked their flight back home whether they passed the stage or not, so the game was rigged against most of the players from the beginning. Another former contestant said, instead of Squid Game, they are calling it Rigged Game. Instead of Netflix, they're calling it Netflix. The preparation for the Dalgona game was also very tough, as the team tried about 19 different recipes and thousands of candies before getting it right. They also struggled with storage since they couldn't be used immediately after being made. Another depressing moment of the show was when each group's representative had to pick different honeycomb shapes for the Dalgona challenge. And right before our eyes, we saw how player 299 was intimidated and pushed to pick up the umbrella. That scene was an absolute disaster as player 299 was trying so hard not to throw up after being put on the spot, and his team members also hated how he gave in. However, player 299, whose real name is Spencer Hawkins, has revealed that he was genuinely having anxiety while filming this emotional scene, and that he was gagging and trying not to throw up based on the situation he found himself in, so all of that was real. However, Spencer also mentioned a secret behind how the Dalgona challenge was shot. Only one-fourth of the room was actually competing at a time. The other three-fourths were asked to pretend and just move their fingers around like they were working on a cookie. So for effortless coverage, only a few contestants were working on their shapes and everything wasn't happening all at once as viewers saw in that scene. Although viewers saw humanity being tested later in the show, the real test started during the red light game. A player said they were all sad seeing people fall around them due to exhaustion, but they couldn't help because they would be eliminated for moving. So the experience was just physically and emotionally terrible for the contestants, and most of them regret ever partaking in the competition. Now regretting their decision, one of the players said, this isn't a Bear Grylls survival show. If they had told us it was going to be that cold, no one would have gone through with it. Squid Game? The challenge is just as colorful and vibrant as the actual series, but some scenes aren't real and are a product of CGI and VFX. That means viewers aren't seeing what the contestants saw when filming. The costume was another challenge on the show's set, and the laundry room was always busy and faced issues with maintaining the contestants' tracksuits. The ink that burst through the white t-shirts was hard to wash off so they had to give new tracksuits to contestants who made it past those earlier games. Also, the numbers on the tracksuits were all detachable, which could be removed and added to another suit in case a player needed to change. Also, another truth behind the show's scenes is that numbers were randomly given to the contestants. Still, they ensured the number one didn't go to the oldest man in the game to differentiate the show from the original. Contestants were also prohibited from bringing in any personal items except toiletries. There were many cameras on set, both hidden and unhidden, and the contestants slept in the dormitory but were on their feet from around 7 a.m. till 11 p.m. every day of filming until the lights went out. The players also ate small rations like you saw in the film, and there was no alternative to eating more despite the stress. So there was nothing like cut and action. They were all working throughout, and exceptions were only made if a player was sick or eliminated. What do you think of this untold and scary truth behind the scenes of Squid Game? The challenge? Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.